Jared Chabon and Chabon and Mashipe's mere Savini Persian Dete, you saw the thumbnail. If you know what it is, please like, comment, subscribe for P.I.N.T. bitch. I have the English translation as well, so let's not fuck about. Ooh. I'm so excited to hear these two again. <laughs> That might be the shortest intro I've ever done. I hope everyone's good though. Come see OTP, man, not even nature, the OPPs, and nothing but haters. The doing with Colin Burps, take a cup of pasta, the fuck the boy, the good moody per state, my heart, my venestra, chop of his. I needed about five to ten seconds then just to, just to appreciate that beat. The way that the. That is knocking good. And we've got MC Crusher first. Let's go. Come see OTP, man, not even nature, the OPPs, and nothing but haters. The doing with Colin Burps, take a cup of pasta, the fuck the boy, the good moody per state, my army of Venestra, chop of Vinzo, we could get this cottage, a kid, what I'm protesta, don't drop. This is gonna, okay, I, I, it slipped my mind. Every time I listen to MC Crusher, I'm skipping every five seconds. The guy says, well, life is fucked up when you're up against the wall. Why would I need Louis when the other guy doesn't even have clothes? Like, if I'm at a point where me and all of my family, all of my friends are struggling, why am I going to be the only one walking around with Louis V? Why? Well, while everybody else is struggling, I don't think so. That's not the sort of person that MC Gresham is. Not at all. And he, he started off by speaking about, I'm like ODB with naughty by nature. Old dirty bastard. Let's go. And that's ODB, by the way. I'm not calling Gresham a dirty bastard. <laughs> I shouldn't have needed to clarify that, but. Come see OTP, man, nobody by nature, the OPPs, and nothing but haters. The doing with Colin Burps, take a cup of pasta, the fuck the boy, the good moody per state, my army of Venestra, chop of Vinzo, we could get this cottage, a kid, what I'm protesta, do it, drop a cop, and there's cop of Venice, no man, cause you're an idiot, that's it, boy, but protesta, man, plot hypocrite, that's just true hypothesis, that's from Pelu, no impossible, that's good protesta. Jesus Christ, we're not gonna be able to get through Crash's shit. We're not going to be able to get through the whole world protesting. Cops are like robocops breaking bones with police batons. For anybody that's, that, that's seen Robocop, you know how that guy acted. Jesus Christ. And some police do try and act like Robocop, genuinely. There's a lot of idiots who will make you get prosthetics. Like they'll make you fake. A lot of hypocrites making hypotheses. Like there's a lot of hypocrites, a lot of fake people talking as if they know what they're talking about. And they have people listening to them and then forming an opinion based on what, what whatever they've said. But their opinion's fake, it's it's hypocritical. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, He's dialed in. He's dialed in. He loves this sort of beat. Like, like those beats where he could just get off and not not have to worry about breathing, for example. Doesn't have to worry about breathing. MC Crusher, alien. Jesus Christ, and the way that he's just like he's he's got different tones to his shit as well. And because he because he works well with syllables, he knows exactly the right syllable to flex that that little notation on. He knows exactly the syllable to do it. It's it's such perfect writing, and it's perfect writing because it's it's like he thinks about the syllables as he's writing it out. Knowing that it's going to work perfectly toward any beat, or knowing that he can he could just tweak like a little syllable, he could just tweak that note slightly, and it would work for a different beat. It's just elite level. He said, "Dogs in the road to success. A lot of fleas get shaken down." So he's saying, you know, when somebody's on the road to success, a lot of, they have to shake a lot of the shit off them before they can hit the top. 
because you, sometimes it's too much weight on you. You can't get to the top. Let's go. Lyrical son, I'm sorry to stop you, bro, but the way Crasher ended that, my pussy Laura Croft, I call her my pigeon. So, for any non Albanian speakers or non Albanian listeners, rather. Um, they refer to their significant others as like birds, like pigeon. I call my daughter my little pigeon. It's cute. <laughs> Bro, I need that again. I need that again. Just the way that he ended that verse sometimes. Like when I listen to a song, whether it's for the first time or it might be like every time I listen to this song after now, I'll have to listen to that bit again. Just sometimes something gets me and it's just so sick that I need to listen to it a bag of times. I'm sorry because this is the first time I'm listening to this. So you're having to do this too, but it is what it is. Mm. <laughs> Only lyrical son could have done that, bro. Only lyrical son could have done that. Like he's he sung he sung most of it. Like there was it, it was basically there was enough room for a four bar bridge there. But he only used three bars and then used the fourth bar to create suspense for the chorus to come. Who d who does that? Who raised you? Bro, whoever raised you, well done. They created creative geniuses. You know what? This reaction about to be long as shit. We're not even halfway through this. And it's been like six minutes. So I'm going again. <laughs> But do you know what in that as well? Criminal immigrant illegal for ya. Like in that I can hear lyrical sons like Yardy, that dance hall inspiration. I can hear that behind these vocals. I've said it before and I'll say it again, like lyrical son. I mean, he's told me personally that he grew up listening to ragga, like dancehall Jamaican music. But you can literally see it in the inflections in his tonage, like... Artistically, it's beautiful. For him to be blending that shit. They call me me Criminal immigrant illegal for ya Tu resigo rubes donat Paranoia um gabo psicopat Que eu ia te espeito pro dono Me entre triler e me tronge de jota pra ti tra... Oi, ya... Oi, ya... The way Lyrical Sun approaches shit, it's so unorthodox, like I never expect it. I never, like every time I think, all right, the last one that I listened to was his, it's gotta be his best verse. Like it's gotta be the best entrance to a verse. And then he brings out, taking risks on these roads every night, paranoia's turned me into a psycho. So we're going into like, in depth into, into Lyrical Sun's psyche here. This fast life wants to dissolve me, a full length thriller without subtitles. 
Like it's a full length thriller. Like you are guaranteed to go through some shit. You're guaranteed to see some shit, but you might not always know what's 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 being said. You won't get the full picture. Do you know what I mean? Like you might be looking at everything, but you might not understand it because you've not been given subtitles. Wow, that's crazy. But also because he's saying criminal immigrant, wherever Albanians have, have immigrated to, they've also had no subtitles because they've you know been Albanian speaking. So they've had to then learn another language surrounded still by the Malhala, like whatever hood or whatever it is, wherever you've emigrated to, you have to survive within those places and not even being accustomed to the land that you're in. Do you know what I mean? It must be difficult. And that's obviously what they're, what they're touching on. Oh my days, and then he's saying, oh. I mean, left as a memory like the sneakers in Mahala. So, like, obviously, when somebody dies, like, we do this in the UK too. If somebody in your hood or your set, your little faction, you click whatever, if they die, you throw their trainers up, sneakers for anybody, throw their trainers up on electrical fence wire or electrical wires rather on the, on the, on the telepoles and they stay there. It's, it's to represent that person who died, you know? Let's go. Es sot ut en krisa en fejde per via Criminal emigrant illegal visa Clandestin asilant sos Mona Lisa Rupe si militant per to devisa Pare te bukës ku zhin me kimista Santa Claus ni gara shtas me surpriza Storje te mia su ditët e Liza Mario puzo bire pisin fila Man ku ashtë në pjatë And now lyrical songs done it as well The way he ended that bro The bread bunny in the kitchen with chemists Santa Claus, a garage full of sacks with surprises. Jesus Christ. Me grand illegal visa, clandestine asylant sos Mona Lisa. Rupe si militant per to devisa. Pare te bukës ku zhin me kimista. Santa Claus ni gara shtas me surpriza. Storje te mia su ditë të Liza. Mari o puzo bire pisin fila. Man ku ashtë shërëm pjagë ta mu shprisat mi kanë vra. E ardhë mja më dim ka vdek, rupe tu tret për para. E gjithë kur të mesri të shunë, am duket andër këtë kjo dronë Yeah They call me Criminal emigrant illegal for ya They call me Criminal emigrant illegal for ya I kind of wish there had been like an official music video to that. However, I did like um, like the effect of, of having everything drawn out. And also when he said, uh, when fear prevails, it like, you could pull back like a like a black mask and then there was a face underneath and that had all been drawn out. Like that's, that's pretty cool. That's very creative. And obviously I'd expect nothing less from P.I.N.T. anyway. Um, that, that was insane, just, the way that MC Gresher and Lyrical Son devise a beat between themselves is incredible. And the way that there's, there's, it's sonically, it's like there's two halves to it. It's the same thing as Outkast from America, Andre 3K and Big Boy. It's the same thing. It's almost like, because they're so sonically different, it's like it should be two different sides, but it's not. It's all one. Like take either one out, it wouldn't be the same. Put anybody else in, wouldn't be the same. Insane, and obviously that gives an insight into the immigrant lifestyle that a lot of Albanians, many of my Albanian followers had to go through, or their parents would have had to go through, people they know had to go through. You know, it's a story that a lot of people can relate to. So I'm glad that, you know, I don't know how many 
what's this on 5.2 million views so you know there's a there's a lot of people that can relate to to that story so i'm glad that the boys managed to get their story out there it's fine and obviously a lot of people go through it so to have that represented on such a global scale it's, it's sick obviously the boys did their thing whoever produced that i'm gonna have to look at that actually who, who did produce it press play okay so press play being one of um uh pints main um producers on label um obviously along with uh k master who this was actually recorded by and i've broken my phone brilliant who needs phones i'm teddy Graham stuff it's been your point <laughs>